Time now for women's lacrosse update with head coach Kelly Nagel. Kelly, good to catch up with you again. Fall practice just about in the books here, so give us an idea of how it went and what you liked about it. It went really well. Um, you know, each year that I'm here, it's getting better. Each section of the year is getting better. Our first fall to our first spring to our second fall. Um, it's just, it's very, we, we're doing the things that we've been talking about doing for a long time, and we're at a place where we're actually executing things well. And we executed a lot of things well this fall, which is a really good place to be moving forward into the spring. Saw so some major improvements record-wise last year, entering now 2016. How hungry did you see the girls during the offseason, through the summer, and now through fall practice? It's been, I mean, you know, we all know. As a coach, you stand here and tell them all these things. And, you know, they hear you, they hear you. But when they're not getting the wins, it's hard for them mm -hmm. to really buy in. So this past, coming off the season where – you know, they actually saw it. We played the championship game, and I told them at the end of that game, when we huddled up right after, I said, this is a moment that's going to carry you through until mm. this time next year because you're not going to forget standing in the middle of that field watching another team get the trophy. And, you know, and that stuff just kind of takes care of itself. I mean, I didn't have to send them inspirational quotes every yeah. week to get them to be doing what they needed to do in the off season. And coming back in the fall, it's just been, since we started practice, it's been a whole different attitude. I mean, there's just, there's a hunger in them that I haven't seen yet. And it's because they, you know, they were there, they've seen it, and they want to be there again and walk on with the trophy. I think it's cool to see the development of programs and teams when you see the players being accountable for other players. Yep. Is your program there yet? And if so, why do you think that happens to good programs? Well, because I think so much of it, I mean, a lot of it comes from the coaching staff and the support staff, but so much of it has to come from the student athletes mm -hmm. themselves. And it's hard until they know exactly what they're looking for and what they're aiming for. It's hard for it to come from one another. And then they need we need to have enough people setting the right example mm -hmm. for it to be really everyone to be fully bought in and this summer there was no question i mean our returners were very clear about the expectation and the things they need to do and because of the rules and the examples that have been set in the past as far as like our run tests and our commitment to fitness and the expectations they knew what they were coming into and they knew what it was going to look like if they didn't do what they needed to do in the summer and they right. knew it was going to take out of out of our execution in the fall, which what happened last year, we had to spend a lot of our fall getting the entire team in shape, and they didn't want to do that again. So, mm. you know, I came, they came back before practice even started. They were out here on their own running. We passed run tests without a problem. I mean, just significant um, increases in where we've been, and that was gave us the opportunity to actually play in the fall and run some stuff, and just we're like ten steps ahead of where we were last year. Remember last year coming out to some practices. Before the workout started, you had the volleyball out here, just having fun. Mm -hmm. And I think kids nowadays and sometimes coaches lose that point of why are we out here? Mm -hmm. Obviously, wins and losses are what we're all judged on, but we got to have fun. Mm -hmm. And with your program, I think you've kind of put that blueprint of we're going to have fun while we win. Yes. And, I mean, obviously the most fun thing is winning. Yeah. Um, but we do – we make a point, especially in the fall – to just have fun. I mean, we every Friday in the fall we play a different sport, and one, it's entertaining because I'm like, you guys call yourself athletes, yeah, <laughs> but you don't know show how us. to play kickball. Right. Um, but it's just fun, and it you know it makes it something you know that's a whole different element. I mean, they need to be able to to have fun and see the fun and want to be out here, and that's something that we've been working on since I've been here. And there's no question in my mind that all 32 girls in this team want to be here. They want the same things, you know, and they want it just experience the joy that should be coming from this. It shouldn't be something that you feel like you have to come to. And we make a point to have as much fun as we can. And then they're, they want to work hard. Like when it's hard, it's not hard. It's still enjoyable because they're accomplishing a goal. You had some meets and matches this fall. Mm -hmm. Give me an idea of how those went, the development of your team entering this spring. Uh, what do you like about it? Went really well. We went up to Pittsburgh our first weekend. Then we were at Tech the following weekend, and we went to Mason for a big play day. They were our three big days, mm -hmm. and we played three to four games on each of those. So it's like a bunch of scrimmages, which is nice because we get it to use a lot of different, you know, personnel, switch things up, and we did really well. Um, like I said, I think that was a benefit of of us being able to come into the fall in shape and ready to go and pick up right where we left off in May. And we haven't been able to do that since I've been here. So to be able to see almost the fruit of that in the fall in these games has been awesome because it also 
gives me excitement for the spring because they do go home. Like our sport is weird because they go home for right. winter break yep. and you have to rely on them to do it on their own. And to, as a coach to know that we've already accomplished that and we're past that and I don't have to worry about what they're going to do. And to know that we're going to be able to pick up right where we left off at the end of the fall just makes me really excited for the season. Kelly, you've also selected captains uh, for this team coming up. What's your criteria on selecting those girls? Um, I do think leadership is huge um, and it's, really important that we have the right people in place and we have the team vote and when the team votes for the kids that you and your mind are anticipating being selected that's always a good thing because <laughs> you also know everyone's on the same sure. page and you know the team voted for these four girls and I think we would picked four this year which is you know every year it's different mm -hmm. and I think they complement each other really well and I think they're fully prepared to lead us to places we haven't been yet. Okay, I think uh, everybody's anticipating the schedule. That's always, regardless of what sport, who you playing, here, there, what are the times, yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you tell us about 2016 and kind of where it is right now? Our schedule is another a, a tough schedule. I mean, we had a tough schedule last year, and that was a big part of the beginning of our season because we were in close games with tough teams but not quite getting the wins, mm -hmm. and then it paid off in conference play. Sure. And, again, that experience is going to – that fires them up too coming into the spring. Um, we open up at Tech. And that's always a big rivalry game for us and for the girls right down the road. Um, and we were playing some big time schools. We Notre Dame, sh believe, is coming here. We're going to play them regardless on our schedule, which is going to be a big game for us because they'll probably be a top 10, top 15 team. Mm -hmm. um, we have we go to Navy. Um, we go back down to Richmond. We play a lot of local games, but quality, you know, strong opponents so that we're prepared going into the conference, and we open up our conference play with Winthrop. All right, sounds exciting. Kelly Nangle, we appreciate the time. Have a great rest of the fall, soon to be winter, and 2016 be here before you know it. Yeah, I will. Thank you. That's head women's lacrosse coach Kelly Nangle. I'm Alan York for LibertyFlames.com.